Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott and this is another My Bourbon Journey review. So if you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys such as bourbons, rye, uh, American whiskeys, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, also hit the bell notification, that's going to alert you to when I'm doing new uploads, live streams, things along those lines. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. Uh, this is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and this is part of their, uh, what they call the Masters uh, Collection. Uh, this comes in at 125.8 proof, uh, or 62.9% uh, ABV. Uh, a little bit of information, I guess, on this. The mash bill on this was 72% uh, corn, 18% uh, rye, and 10% malted barley. Um, so in terms of, um, you know, a, a rye mix, uh, this would be on the kind of the lower uh, end of a, a, a rye um, uh, bourbon. So uh, price-wise, this comes in at approximately uh, $130 uh, US. Non-age stated, so I wasn't able to uh, find out uh, anything having to do with uh, an approximate age or anything like that. And uh, this series, uh, the Batch Proof, was released, uh, I believe, in uh, April of 2018. So. That's just a little bit of uh, information on that. So, uh, as I normally do with my reviews, we'll get into kind of the uh, the color, the appearance, uh, the nose, the palette, the finish, uh, things along those lines. So, why don't we uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll get into the review. So, as you can see, uh, this is a really nice kind of rich, like amber type of color. Uh, you can see it's picked up a a real fair amount of. Uh, color from the the barrel so it's it's you know making you believe that you know there is some age to it just based on the the color and again uh, this is basically a, a barrel proof uh, 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 bourbon so you know even with that without it being kind of watered down or anything along those lines this is maintaining you know all of the proof the color and and so on so Uh, boy, so up front, um, it's it's fairly kind of uh, a little a little sweetness kind of right when you uh, kind of get your nose in there a little bit. Uh, oak, uh, oak is is very present. Uh, definitely some some cherry. Uh, even some like a little bit of a, a nuttiness to that as well. Uh, even picking up a, a bit of a kind of a, a chocolate, um, kind of a, a baker's chocolate note. Uh, some some dark fruit, a little bit of actually. I just got a, a kind of a, a hint of of some honey right there as well. Huh. Uh, a little bit of the the dark fruit uh, type of characters. Uh, even some, uh, a little bit of a, like a leathery type of note. Yeah, so there's a lot of, a lot going on with the, the nose uh, on this that I'm, I'm picking up. So, yeah, let's get into the, the taste. Cheers. So, as I like to do, um, you know, first without trying to make a judgment off of the first taste I'd like to get uh, another taste get the the palate coated a little bit that kind of prepares you for really what you're you're kind of you know tasting rather than trying to judge uh, off of the first taste especially with this being uh, high proof uh, bourbon as well so So, like on the nose, my first impression or thoughts are you get hit right up front with that that oaky kind of nuttiness. Uh, it, it is it is about or um, uh, a bit of a kind of a, a creamy mouth feel coats the coats the mouth really well. You know, fairly viscous. You know, you're definitely getting that that leathery, nutty dry kind of dryness uh, on the palate not nearly as sweet uh, to the taste as it was on the nose 
um, yeah, you're, you're, you're the, as the finish kind of starts to develop, you're still left with that, that leathery tobacco nuttiness. Uh, so it's, it's really not overly sweet at all. So if, if that type of, uh, taste fits your, your profile, uh, you know, that's something you'd really like. Now for 125.8 uh, proof, there's not a ton of heat. It, it hits you a little bit up front, but that kind of dissipates fairly, fairly quickly, or it did for me anyway. Uh, I didn't get that, that major Kentucky hug or anything along those lines. So, you know, again, for that type of proof, uh, it is drinking not like that, uh, for lack of a better term. It, it really is drinking you know, more along the lines, I would say, of a, a hundred proof uh, type of, of bourbon. So, you know, anyway, so, you know, that, it, it's a really, really good uh, bourbon. Now, for me, and at the price point of $130, uh, I don't know if it would be something necessarily for, for me. Uh, it doesn't necessarily fall into you know, my wheelhouse or my, my flavor profile, I like something that's a little bit sweeter. Uh, but if you're, again, looking for something that's, um, you know, leathery, um, you know, nuttiness, uh, there's some oak forwardness to this, you know, this would be fantastic. And again, you know, if, if you don't mind paying the, the premium uh, for a, a essentially barrel proof, um, you know, bourbon, um, then yeah, by all means, you know, go ahead and, and pick that up. So uh, I think it's it's really a, a a solid bourbon. You know, I'll let you make the decision whether or not that's something that um, you know kind of works for you price wise. Um, I believe this is also the most expensive release of the Masters collection to date. I believe the other ones were right around that hundred dollar mark. So. Um, they've they've added a bit of a, a premium to this as as well. So uh, anyway, so uh, with that being said, so you know, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments. Um, you know, I love the interaction part of, of of all of this. So you know that that part is good. Uh, if you want to contribute to the channel, feel free to do so. Uh, I'll have some links uh, in the description below for uh, the Patreon or PayPal uh, things along those lines. So. You know, again, thumbs up, you know, comments, uh, all of that good stuff. I, I appreciate uh, all, all of the feedback. So uh, with that being said, we'll see you next time. Cheers.